another person asked me, what is the role of the Holy Spirit when it comes to church unity, when in our gathering there are people of diverse backgrounds? That's a great question, isn't it? What is the role of the Holy Spirit in church, and especially church unity? Uh, church is made up of people from all sorts of background, and uh, it is indeed very hard uh, to, uh, to, to have a unity when uh, you all think differently, uh, you all have different personalities and so on. But the amazing thing about the gospel is that it brings people together. I'm going to return to uh, a part of the Bible in uh, 1 Corinthians chapter 12 uh, to uh, answer this question. Notice how in verse 3, uh, the Apostle Paul says this, Therefore, I want you to understand that no one speaking in the Spirit of God ever says Jesus is accursed, and no one can say Jesus is Lord except in the Holy Spirit. In other words, the role of the Holy Spirit is to enable people to confess Jesus to be their Lord and Saviour. Unless the Spirit of God is at work in the lives of the people, church uh, will not be possible. Uh, it is God's Spirit who enables uh, each and every one of us to turn to Jesus as their Lord and Saviour. And so uh, it is the work of God's Spirit that brings people together uh, as, a, as a family, as, as a unit. But furthermore, uh, he goes on to say that there are a variety of gifts, but the same Spirit, and there are a variety of service, but the same Lord, and there are varieties of activities, but it is the same God who empowers them all uh, in everyone. Uh, so secondly, um, uh, God's Spirit uh, is uh, bestowing upon people uh, various kinds of gifts that are to be used uh, for the common good. And so uh, when a Joe Blow comes to church and uh, he is a Christian person, uh, he would have uh, at least one uh, spiritual gift that God's Spirit uh, has given him. And uh, his responsibility is to use that gift uh, for building other people up. And it is God's Spirit who is enabling him to do that.